This is the Thumaru Defiled Chalice, and you can see my health is defiled. So, we're facing the layer 3 boss here. This is Amygdala. Um, she is real hard. Um, a lot to do with the fact that you enter the, the arena at half health, and it is sort of like um, the end of the hard number of uh, chalices for Thumaru, but you won't really be super leveled up. See my strategy here is to hang over by the left hand side and whack away on that hand that's hanging down, so it's better if you use a weapon that's got a long reach, which is why I've got that axe out at the minute. You can sort of hang out underneath that glowy arm for the most part, and the only uh, effect that you'll have if you're doing it right is Amygdala will occasionally stomp to turn right to try to get you back within reach of them. Um, what's about to happen is she's about to flip out, right? So she's going to, to go into her phase two here. Um, my strategy generally at this point is to back off. You'll know for sure it's phase two because you get the glowy hands um, attack that's got presumably arcane charged up on it or whatever. Um, you could potentially still hang out and whack on that hand. Initially, though, you'll find, or I have, uh, that she will be a little bit more aggressive and tend to turn a little faster and uh, be a little bit more unpredictable. So my strategy eventually became to simply let her flip out, uh, get away from her, and then take opportunistic attacks like the one you just saw. Um, so she will occasionally throw the, uh, the big blue hand slap and uh, like this, well, not like that one, but um, uh, when she throws that slap, you just be in the right place, outside the reach of it, and then dart in and give her a whack or two. Don't be a, a greedy, um, because she'll just one-shot you. This dungeon is basically, every, every time you get hit by a McDowell is a death. Um, these lasers, uh, if you face them in the middle of the regular story mode, you'll know that you just need to basically sort of not be on top of the glowy bit when it detonates, so it's pretty easy to avoid those. Um, but anyway. um, and eventually, what will happen here is Amygdala, when she, she goes to a third phase, uh, so she, her health roughly sort of cut in two thirds. In the first 30%, you can hang, hang out under the hand. The next 30%, basically, if you pull back, avoid the occasional laser attacks, and then uh, counter when she slams with the blue. Uh, eventually, you'll get it down to about that last third. So keep an eye on her health. As soon as she goes to the last third, she's going to rip her arms off. So I'm just going to skip ahead to where that looks like it's going to happen. It's getting close. Another one. There we go. There they are. See the arms go up. She rips them off and I immediately go jump through the middle of her legs. So, what happens now is her attack changes. She'll want to jump. Uh, she'll do that jump on the other two phases as well if you're far away, but part of the strategy is to never really get that far away, to allow her to want to use that jump attack. The difference is that in the first two phases, when she uses the jump attack, she will land always facing you, and that's a problem because she usually includes getting slammed, and when you get slammed, it's pretty much a one hit kill. So, in this phase, for whatever reason, when she rips her arms off, she is unable to twist to face you any longer. So you can effectively do what I'm doing, which is to attack her from the back when she jumps, to follow her wherever that might be, and continue to attack her from the back. She will try to twist around to face you when she does that, just either roll between her legs or roll around the outside again, um, and continue to just hit her from the outside. The one thing you'll need to worry about is the her back arm, leg, uh, the, the 
left one is not as bad as the right one, in, in, again, in my experience. But if you hang out back there, she will occasionally try to stomp you. Um, and the stomp is a little bit killing like the rest of them. So basically, you've got probably enough time for one, maybe two hits, um, depending on how she's behaving. And then she'll either jump or try to t turn and, and stamp. Uh, if she turns this thing up, you need to immediately just roll away. Um, and then, you know, look for that jump again, because usually that's what's coming next. I'm just going to speed it up here and spare you guys the full battle. It's pretty dull. Uh, it's me being incredibly safe and using that strategy I just described, or uh, spinning around to that uh, behind her left leg over and over again. If you're paying attention closely, you'll notice my health almost goes to zero because she does actually sneak a stamp in that uh, catches me at one point, but I got really lucky. I think I tried to do this boss, I don't know, at least 50 times. It's hard to remember exact numbers because I did it so many times. Um, mostly dying because I got greedy. Because it was just so, I was so impatient. There's that stamp that I was talking about. So I recovered from that, and I think I pretty much finished this without getting in danger again. Anyway, um, best of luck on your own amygdala, and I'll see you next time.